contestant is Melissa Mayo. Miracles manifested. Miracles manifested, Melissa Mayo. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. What would you say if I told you that I was crazy enough to, at two o'clock in the morning, see an email saying there was a space available to speak this morning? <laughs> I felt up to it. <laughs> and what would you say if I said at six o'clock this morning, I sat down at my computer, to try and write a speech to share with you. <laughs> and what would you say if I ended up with a speech that has 10 bullet points? <laughs> well, you'd say I was crazy and you're probably right, but the 10 bullet points on this paper represent my life's work. I am a serial manifester. And I have been that way ever since I was a kid. I grew up in a home uh, which was a little toxic. My parents loved me, but they never shared a bedroom or a kiss. And I grew up with a tainted view of relationships and marriage. But I always had a secret imaginary playroom. I would paint myself into pictures and situations. And the pictures I would create for God would become my reality. It's as if exactly the thing I put onto paper or the story I told him I needed to appear would appear and in such specific detail that I realized at this age I was not creating alone. And I went on to attract so many miracles. Some of you in the room are aware of the fact that I am a Food Network chef and I have a magnificent home and cooking school in Lucca, Italy, where I get to go every summer and teach cooking to students under the Tuscan sun. I am just finished up my fifth book and the tools in the book cover these 10 tools on how to manifest. And so I know the work I'm talking about and that's why I didn't need to spend five months writing the speech because it's hardwired in me. It's coming from somewhere deeper inside me. I am not standing here alone. So I was asked when I spoke at my icebreaker speech, because this is only my second Toastmaster speech, um, how I manifest. So I thought I would share that with you. And the most important and critical tool you need to know is that you are not in this alone. You are not walking alone. There is a light that is greater than anything that you can conceptualize, that painted the sun, that holds the cosmos together, that keeps us spinning in our axis, a light inside you. And I know that you are connected to the light because you're breathing. In the, in the First Testament, I'm Jewish, God named himself. He, he said, I am that I am. It is the only time in the Bible that he actually ever named himself. And he did not say, I will be, or I should be, or I could be, or I, at a later date I might be. <laughs> yes, who is and always will be that. But think about it, guys. How often do you use the powerful words, the I am words, the name of God, to say, I'm overweight, I'm unlucky, I'm clumsy. You know, we attract to ourselves what we think and what we speak. And so it is first and foremost important to take control of those words. One of the Ten Commandments says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord in vain. What that means is really, you should not ever pair the words I am with anything that he is not. That is the most powerful manifesting tool available to you. And when you realize you're not creating alone, you also realize the power of your imagination. So I'm going to give you a little behind-the-scenes tour as to how I manifested Italy. 
When I painted the picture of Italy into my head, I didn't see myself at 45 with a teenage daughter who I would be teaching classes. I pictured myself old, gray, decrepit, with a walking chair and wrinkles, and my vanity cries at my hunched over posture, but it was years into the future. The house was furnished. I knew what my furniture looked like. I knew what the windows looked like. I knew what was on the table. I could hear Bocelli playing. I put such specific details into my manifestation. And when you realize how powerful your imagination is, and that when you plant the seeds in there in specific detail, and you water it with love and kindness, and you partner with your source, you can manifest anything. The trick is to align yourself with his energy. And by doing that, I mean share your light. Mm -hmm. He picked you for a reason. You're here, you're breathing, and your reason is to be a light unto all the nations in the world, to be a candle in the darkest room. If a simple candle can illuminate an entire room, just be that point of light. Mm -hmm. Find a way to share a meal with someone who has no food, a kind word, a phone call to someone who's going through something tough. These are all ways that you align your energy with the exact same energy of your creator. And when you do, the possibilities and the permutations and the combinations of what you can create are endless. The same energy flowing through Mozart and Galileo and Picasso and Einstein and all the greats is flowing through you. So now the next time you use those words, I am, be very careful what you pair them with because you have the power to bring miracles to your door. I am living proof of it. Now go out there and manifest some miracles.